Hello, and welcome to the first of a new series of treasure hunts. Our two contestants this week are Gaynor and Terence Bailey, and they'll be trying to solve a series of five clues and to guide our Skyrun Annika Rice and her helicopter around a course leading to a treasure and a top prize of a thousand pounds. They have 45 minutes in which to do this, and I shall be trying to help them if I can. At this point, obviously, the clues and the whereabouts of the treasure are quite unknown to them, and they're also unknown to me and to Annika Rice. The only person who does know and who'll be seeing fair play as well as plotting Annie's movements is Annette Lindson. Hello, Nettie. Are you Hello. ready with all your toys to start the game? I am ready. Are you? Well, almost. <laughs> Terence, do you think there's anything in your background that might help you with this sort of treasure hunt? Uh, keen on sailing, therefore using nautical almanacs, this sort of thing, to look up reference details mm -hmm. might help. What actually do you do? I train and breed gun dogs. And you do the same? Uh, yes, Gina? well, housewife, but I help Terry in all his work too. Where do you live? We live at Gunstock Kennels, Whitford, North Wales. And is the breeding successful in the training? Yes, I'm glad to say it is. Good, well, I hope you'll be you. just as successful today. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, as you've seen, uh, Gain and Terence are here in the studio in London with me, and acting as our eyes and ears is our Skyrun Annika Rice. Now, you at home will be able to see her, but we can't, but we can hear her and we can speak to her. So I'm going to call her up now and find out where she is. Annie, can you hear us? Yes, hello, Kenneth. Hello. How are you today? Fine, thanks. And well, it's, you? It's a beautiful day here. We're in Kent. It's a, it's a lovely part of the English countryside at a place called Lullingston Castle. Lullingston Castle. Now, that's about seven miles north of Seven Oaks. Well, I've got Seven Oaks right in front of me, about seven so miles just north. just go seven miles north of that. It's the most unlikely looking castle you've ever seen, more like a stately home. I'm just about to tell you what it's famous for, because this is the lucky owner, Guy Hart Dyke. So tell us, what, what is this building famous for, this area? Oh, good morning, Nika. Yes, this, uh, this building is famous for the place where the first game of lawn tennis was played, and the, the, law, the rules were drawn up by my grandfather, Sir William Hart Dyke, uh, with King Edward VII from the Choice How Select wonderful. Committee. How yes. fantastic. We'll be back later for a game, I hope. I hope so, Meanwhile, yeah. we've got a bit of work to do, so uh, we'll get on to the job of introducing the crew to you. There's Keith over there in the helicopter. Hello, Keith. And uh, Frank, our video engineer. And that, of course, is Graham, the cameraman. And Graham and Frank spend their entire time during this show running after me. It's quite a funny sight, I can tell you. Anyway, have you established where we are? Yes, I found uh, Lullingston Castle. Fine. Well, we're standing by the helicopter and uh, all set and ready to go. To give you an idea of scale, if one of Sir William Hart Dyke's famous tennis balls travelled at the same speed as the helicopter, which is about 80 miles per hour, it would take 17 and a quarter minutes to travel the 23 miles from the start point at Lullingston Castle to Sittingbourne, just southeast of Rochester. Right, Nettie, if you'll give us the first clue, there's we can yours. begin. And there's your clue. And here yeah. is and the first clue. The treasure you're hunting for is a small silver dog, so if you're all ready, we'll start the clock and do 45 minutes starting from now. I'll read this out to you. Fly drive to, to the, the pits. pits. And between four and six, stop Tim, 22, clutching Lola, 30, and let's hope they've got, got the, the message. message. <laughs> Fly drive Great. to the pits. And between four and six, stop Tim, 22, clutching Lola, 30, and let's hope they've got the message. It all sounds something to do with racing cars. Annie, can you take off? Take off. Please and hover. Say, I would say racing cars. I yeah. think so. Now, what is there around here? Isn't um, Brands Hatch somewhere near here? Um, don't want to spend Where? Do you know of any? I know it's in Kent. I've been there. I think what is so. Brands Hatch? Brands Hatch is somewhere Let's see if we can find something about it. Take off, please. Um, I'm not sure where exactly it is. Okay, I'm going to. Bye-bye. Have you found it on the map yet? Tell me which direction to go into. Have you found it there? Have you got the books on Kent? We're just taking off and searching over the castle. There's a thing on Grand Prix. Yeah. Have you got the Grand Prix one? There's a book there on Grand Prix. Have you found Brands Hatch, though? No, but I'm not going to We're just saying goodbye to the castle now. It's actually very old. In Brits. The castle was built in 1495. At the head of Nats Valley. Well, that's not much help to me. Nats Valley? Nats Valley. <laughs> the village here is West Kingsdown. Can you see any of these places? West Kingsdown. Um, well, it must be fairly near, so... Um, yes, Grand Hatch, Hatch Motor Circuit. You found it? Yeah. Yes. yes. East, east, northeast. Well, it's sort of almost directly east. Pretty well east, I would have said, Annie. Yeah. More or less directly east of where you are now. Now, we're headed there. Oh, 
Oh, what's the clue say again? Pets. So, in other words, I would think you've possibly got to drive when you get there. Why drive? Why drive? To the pets. Oh, I see. And that'll be the racing pets. Circuit marked on the map there, so we're all under control. Oh, the team point is six. Stop. Stop. Ten. Isn't the clock called ten? Ten. Isn't the uh, speaking clock called ten? Uh, there is. No? There is, there is, but I don't know whether it's that. Clutching Lola. Lola's a sort of Lo car. Lola is a race, make a racing car. Yes, Lola's a racing a car. Clutch, a clutch, then. A clutch. The, the a maybe, clutch of a racing car. Maybe this fellow, Tim. There may be a man holding a model of a racing car. Between four and six. Or he six. might actually be driving it. We might have to hold up one of those flags to stop oh, him. I don't yes. know. Yes. I'm stop looking for the pits when I get there. My four Clutching. or six or yes. something. Right. Looking for the pits. Okay. We're getting there. Oh, here we are. Right, There's a thing on Ben's hat. Look. Good. Well, we've got one other racing circuit. We've got a map, Annie, of the racing circuit. Well, it's right directly in front of us now. We're looking between four and six. Four and six. Well, that's the. Drive out to the pits. I don't know whether we can land. That's the pit we walk about here. Look, there's a little bit of four. There must be a place. There is. There is a motor car going round. There is. Well, I mean, I don't know how close you can get to that car to see whether it's a Lola. Would you know a Lola if you saw one? Uh, not sure that I would. Not exactly. I can see a I don't know a lot about Lola. Hey, so look, there's a four. I'm just, I'm just parking bend. now. I just, this, this thing about driving is a bit, uh, a bit strange. Uh, Whereabouts are you, Annie? Are you on the right, south side right of it? Right above me, yes. We're, we're going to land in the middle, I think. Perhaps you want the look. south side look. of the circuit. The south you want, side yes. There. You want where the pits are, if you know. I think the problem at the moment is just where we're going to land. Yeah. It's so I can see a four there. Paddyfield uh, Ben, there's a four on. You've got a four on there. Yeah, well, look. What am I supposed yes, to drive? Yes, there isn't a six, as I can find, for some reason. Gaynor, what am I supposed to drive? That's what I don't see. You're looking for... It the, It says okay. fly drive to the pits in between I'm four... Not, yeah. Annie, listen. And between four, four and six. six. Stop. And there is a number saying four. Just by Paddock Hill Ben. ben. Then round the corner is a five, and then there's a star line enclosure, and then seven. It doesn't give six. Yeah, okay. But it says between four and six. Stop, I Tim. That. I'm not stupid. Yeah, <laughs> no, well, when you get there, you... It's a clue. It says I have to try. It says, let's hope they've got the message. In other words, Tim and Lola. Lola the car. They'll have yes. the message. 